What the fuck is this piece of shit? Why do we need elections? Because we know what the result will be. Under the new rules provided by the COVID-19 emergency, many other elected leaders were empowered to show their true colors. Interesting how they all marched in perfect lockstep while chanting the same slogans. This pandemic has provided an opportunity. We are now with an economy in crisis, but with an incredible opportunity. It's certainly a major crisis, but it also offers us a unique opportunity. Unprecedented opportunity to rethink and reset. The great opportunity for reset. Opportunity for us. Opportunity for us. Opportunity for us. For us. For us. To reset. For a reset. It's almost as if they all attended the same school of thought and studied under the same professor. It turns out there are two Davoses, one you see and one you don't. After hours, there are hundreds of private parties where deals are done. People who can't be seen together in public can meet here. Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, distinguished heads of state and government, the future is built by us, by a powerful community as you here in this room. Klaus Schwab, the founder of the WEF, is particularly upfront and even proud of his ability to shape and influence world politics. I created the community. Community, community of global shapers as a means. The cornerstone of our program lead to uncertainty, generalized fear, and pessimism. The cornerstone of all the countries in the world need to be very careful. The narrative. We must rebuild trust, and that's actually the theme of our meeting. We have to rebuild trust. Trust, 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 acting with disinformation and misinformation. As trustees, the concept of trust and trusteeship, as trustees of the future, trust as trustees. One thing that Davos, you might say, and the people come here stand up for is liberal democracy. It's laughable that you would or anyone would describe Davos as protecting liberal democracy. It's about time that everybody stopped and took their fucking blinders off and best look behind you because the World Economic Forum just came up torch in hand and lit your fucking wagon on fire. Everything that you know your entire way of life is under direct assault from them sons of bitches right now. Your sovereignty in the nation that you live, your financial stability, your food source, your energy source, your transportation, and your freedom are all under direct attack by Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum. It is Mr. Schwab's intention in the fourth, his fourth industrial revolution to integrate your biological self with your digital self, to remove God from the equation, the miracle of life. These fuckers are serious people. They're playing for keeps. This isn't a joke. So it is time. Take your blinders off. Look around you. Realize what's going on. There's some serious shit coming up behind you. Once you see what's going on and you arm yourself with facts, start telling people. This is where we have to sway the mass of consciousness. We have to make people aware. Information is invaluable right now. That's your ammunition. You are a warrior. Use your accurate information and truth. Spread it. Get in the fight. I love each and every one of you. Trust, trust, trust. Trust, trust, acting. The cornerstone. We'll work really hard on exclusion lists or inclusion lists. In the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies 
and brains and minds. In the Industrial Revolution, we saw the uh, creation of a new class of the urban proletariat, and much of the political and social history of the last 200 years involved what to do with this class and the new problems and opportunities. Now we see the creation of a new massive class of useless people. <laughs> As computers, become better and better in more and more fields, there is a distinct possibility that computers will outperform us in most tasks and will make humans redundant. And then the big political and economic question of the 21st century will be, what do we need humans for? Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? Do you have an answer in the book? Um, at present, the best guess we have is uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games. Keep them happy. Keep them happy. Keep them happy with drugs and computer games. Some people would say this revolution is characterized by the fight of robots against human beings, and we will win this fight. 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 What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And strategic way. It's a cornerstone. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Spreading disinformation. We own the news. We were the gatekeepers. We very much owned the facts as well. Why do we need elections? Because we know what the result will be. Trust, 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 acting. The cornerstone. Please welcome His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. The rich get richer. Uh, there is no economic growth. Individual carbon footprint tracker. Certainly that it was digital and certainly that it was biometric. We will have new vaccines. Trust, 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 acting. Generative. Combine brainwave activity together with other forms of software and surveillance technology, the power becomes quite precise. To bring into a new world order, a new, new world, world order. order. Trust. It's not just a feeling, it's a cornerstone. Trust, 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 trust acting. Generative. As trustees. To achieve this is not just the feeling. We must rediscover and embrace the narrative that has driven humanity since its inception. Acting as trustees for a better future. The special role of the World Economic Forum. It is a place where at the beginning of the year we come together to analyze the state of the world. Trust, 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 acting as trustees. Ask not what the World Economic Forum can do for you, but what you can do for the World Economic Forum. Trust, 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 acting as trustees. If you'd like to meet the people who are supposed to repair the state of the world, or give a piece of your mind to the bankers who help get us into this mess, we can tell you where to find a lot of them. The World Economic Forum. A private organization. Private organization. Receives billions of tax-free dollars from its members and their global enterprises. Every year, the WEF brings together its members with world leaders, big pharma executives, tech titans, Hollywood celebrities, media personalities, and internet influencers to meet in the secluded mountains of Davos, Switzerland. As a force, as a force, as a force to shape our common future. So that when they ultimately infiltrate cabinets, we penetrate the cabinets. They will likely tend to govern a certain way. Nobody will be safe if not everybody is vaccinated. 
names like this Merkel, this Merkel, uh, Vladimir Putin, and so on. Other names? Jacinda Ardern, Sebastian Kurz, Mauricio Macri, Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Ma, Gavin Newsom, Stefan Bansell, Chelsea Clinton, Leonardo DiCaprio, Sanjay Gupta, Dr. Leanna Wen, Alexander and Jonathan Soros, George Soros' sons, and several of the Rothschilds. And, of course... Now, who could represent such a world better than you, Prime Minister? And I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are for our actually young global leaders of the world economy Great. form. Wow. Yeah. Trust is not just a feeling. The narrative. In a systemic and strategic way, the cornerstone of our program. Critics say the annual meeting are the preserve of business chieftains who covet greater wealth and politicians who want to stay in power. The World Economic Forum and their 2024 Global Risk Assessment Report identified misinformation and disinformation as the number one most severe global risk over the next two years. Above wars, above economic issues, everything. Misinformation and disinformation still these terrible talking points. People tried to get informed about that. Other people shame them. They would say, please tell me you're not going to do your own research. <laughs> You've heard people say that. Please don't do your own research. You know, before COVID, doing your own research used to be called reading. <laughs> now you're shaming me for reading? At the behest of Big Pharma? It's like I woke up in the middle of a Bill Hicks bit. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a reader. <laughs> me, boy, what you reading for? <laughs> Don't you know everything that needs to be read has already been read by a smart person? That's how much people internalized the propaganda from Big Pharma was that they would shape, they would be anti-intellectual enough to shame people for reading while they're wagging their finger at them for doing it. You would never shame people for trying to get informed no matter what other subject it was, no matter how unimportant. Like if I say, hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy a car. Don't look into it. Well, how will I know which car to get? Ask the salesman, he's the expert. <laughs> what are you, Henry Ford? There will be another crisis. Uh, it will be more significant. And, you know, we need to actually start preparing for that now. When we do see this next crisis, it will be faster than what we've seen with COVID. Uh, the exponential growth rate will climb, uh, be much steeper. Uh, the impact will be greater. And as a result, the economic and social uh, implications will be even more significant. Even more significant. What is this next crisis that we just heard Jeremy Jurgens, Harvard educated managing director of the World Economic Forum describing? Well, now let's hear from Klaus Schwab himself. We all know, we all know, we all know, we all know. <laughs> 